What is going on, Bucketheads? This is Nick, your Brain Bucket Guide. Now, to give you a little refresh as to who I am, I'm a gearhead through and through. I got my motorcycle license at 15, and ever since then, I have not been able to keep my hands off of cars, trucks, and motorcycles. Now, today, we're doing an unboxing and a review of the Domeo. Now, if you're like me and you like to listen to music or make phone calls while you ride, Previously, the solution was you take an earbud, shove in your ear, drop the cable down through your shirt, put the phone in your pocket, and pray for the best. Now, when you put your helmet on, you run the risk of jamming that little earbud in your ear or even falling out. Domeo has solved this problem. So, let's open the box and see what we got. This is pretty neat. A little plastic slip cover over it. 360 degree audio for your helmet. Keep electronics outside, but the music inside. Anything else in the box? Nope. Packaging actually seems really neat. Uh, ooh, I haven't seen this yet. That is cool. I like that a lot. So right on the box, Domeo tells you what they bring to the table. You've got Bluetooth connectivity, all day battery life. It's water resistant, which means you can't drop it in a puddle, but it will withstand rain, I imagine. And a 3M backed mounting system. Probably don't need a knife for this, but since it's here, let's use it. I'm not a stupid man. How does this... There we go. Check that out. That's pretty neat. A little flat black on black. Those are my colors right there. Okay, looks like it slides out. Does it? Ah, oh, there we go. Pretty cool, neat little sticker. That's that tells you how to set it up and how to contact them. You have any issues with it? Completely form fitted packaging. I'm gonna skip right to the fun part because that's the kind of guy I am. So you've got your three buttons right here. I guess that's volume up, volume down, and power. But let's look for the instructions. That's that tells you how to set it up different mounts for it. USB-C connector. So that's for charging the device. All right, that's what we got. So that looks really, really neat. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to set this thing up. So if we follow their quick setup directions here, first thing we gotta do is choose a location to mount it. So let's clear some of our workspace. Now, I've seen this in a couple of different places on top, on the side here. Every helmet's gonna be different, so you have to find which spot works for you. For us, I think I'm gonna try right here. So it looks like what we need to do, we gotta clean it first. So grab yourself some glass cleaner. Spray your work area. Grab your towel. Let's clean it up. Last thing you wanna do is have some dirt or sediment right where you're gonna to wanna to mount this piece at. If anything gets underneath where the tape is supposed to mount to the helmet, it's not gonna make for a very good seal. So you have two of these, and I imagine you get two of these little brackets if you wanna mount them on different helmets. So let's use one, and you can see it's got the 3M tape coating all the way around the edge. So let's give this thing a shot. Before I commit to this, ideally, I kinda of want it to mount like that. Very carefully, making sure not to touch your fingers to the adhesive. Let's line it up. So the plastic is pliable enough that it actually conforms to the curvature of the helmet. I think that is really neat. And that's the best way to make it as modular as possible. All right. So this says we have to wait a little bit of time but as soon as you would hear it, you gotta hold pressure down for about 15 seconds. And then the hard part is you have to wait 30 minutes to put the thing on. That's all right, we got time. I'm gonna call that good for 15 seconds. Now, the waiting game. Before we get this thing mounted, let's turn it on. The suspense. I don't know, Domeo, not looking too good. You know, 
I'm kind of, I think I'm kind of spoiled. A lot of the electronics that I buy, they come with like a little bit of a charge, just so we're all eager. You spend a little bit of money on these things, you get them back, and then I play with them almost immediately when you get them out of the box. So it makes me sad, it doesn't turn on. But that's okay, I'll just charge it up and give it a shot. I wish it was a little longer, uh, but you know what? This looks like something you can set on your kitchen counter, plug it in after a long ride, and make sure it's ready for the next one. So I don't really think this is gonna be a, a bad mark against the Domeo. Okay, now we got this thing charged up just a little bit. Let's try it out. So let's turn it on. Battery low. We didn't wait too long. Let's click it into place. Let's just see how it looks on. That's not going anywhere. Well, uh, I want to try it out. Let me see if I can pair this. I'm going into my Bluetooth. It'll pop up as Domeo Moto. Tap that. Well, it says it's connected. Let's give it a shot. That is so much better than what I was expecting it to be. I, hold on. You can actually hear and feel the bass on the inside just by sticking my ear in there. I wanna put this thing on my head. You know, I have to say, already, that's a heck of a lot better than having to worry about something sticking out of my ear and making sure it doesn't fall out or get jammed up. Let's give this thing a go. I need my face ID, something in the way. Okay, now we're connected. That's, that is really surprising. I was, pro I, I was really skeptical of this. Having something on the outside being able to transmit sound and motion to the inside, that's some really clever technology. Let's go for a ride. So now we're back in the garage from our ride. Now we just rode around the neighborhood here. I have to say, if we jump to the sound as the first little point of review, it sounds really good. I was really surprised. I came into this a little skeptical thinking, how can you project sound outside of the helmet and have it transfer in a decent way to the inside? They figured it out. I think that's really neat. The other thing too is that the ambient noises all around you also transfer through. You have a siren coming up behind you, up front, around the corner, you can hear those things as well. Now we jump to the look of it. I think this thing looks pretty darn cool. I'm a big Batman fan, and this looks really Batman to me, so I don't mind having it on my helmet. It actually didn't, the weight didn't bug me at all either. When it was on the helmet, I, I didn't even notice it. Now, placement. We know the placement is kind of up to your discretion. In all the pictures we saw, it was mainly mounted up here, up in the top, 
We chose to mount ours on the left side. Now, be advised if you do that, there will be a sound bias. So if you mount on the left, naturally, that's where most of the noise is gonna come from. I was a little concerned about mounting it on top, reaching the buttons. Something about riding around, taking corners, and coming up to here seems a lot simpler than wrapping all the way around the helmet and trying to find it from there. Now for the big question. If this were my money, would I buy the Domeo Moto? My answer is going to be twofold. If this were my only mode of transportation, I would buy it. I like listening to music. I like listening to podcasts. However, if this were my weekend warrior, I think that money could go to a lot of different things. Now, I'm going to kick it back to you. Leave a comment down below. Would you buy the Domeo Moto? Would you buy the Domeo Moto Pro, which comes with a microphone attachment so you can make phone calls? Or would you stick with your earbuds? All right, make sure you check out our Brain Bucket blog, our Mudslinger blog, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications on all our new content. All right, until next time, Bucketheads, take care. Thank you.